What's going on everybody, Supervillain Gaming here, and today it is my pleasure to introduce to you some MTG Arena, and specifically the deck that I've been playing lately, um, which takes advantage of a very fun card, a new mythic rare in Ikoria, which is Wynota, Joiner of Forces. Uh, she's really terrific, um, plays on all the different humans in the deck, and the fact that whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, you get a look at the top six cards of your library. If you find a human creature there, you can take it, put it into play, attacking, and uh, the, that creature gains indestructible until end of turn, and the rest of the cards go on the bottom of your deck. <clears throat> so, with some really overpowered humans in the format right now, such as Agent of Treachery, um, and, you know, some good come into play effects like Elite Guard Mage and, you know, some other, you know, fun things like Charming Prince. Uh, the possibilities get, you know, pr pretty crazy very quickly, and there's a lot, a lot going on with this deck. So, that is basically the key for the deck here, um, but some, you know, quick overview. We have Raise the Alarm, which is a a strangely important card of the deck which puts two non-human creatures into play you can do that at the end of turn on turn three and you know then untap and drop Wynota on turn four and you're comboing out you know at that point getting some very powerful stuff happening um not gonna try and pronounce him but uh or maybe i will feeble thip <laughs> the lost uh, only have one of those right now, and in fact, the deck is a little bit complete. I would probably have a second one of these, at least one or two Hanged Executioners, and again, at least one uh, more Legion War Boss, I think. In the meantime, uh, we do have some other good cards in the deck, such as Teferi Time Raveler and Bone Crusher Giant. But um, that's about it. You can see the deck list here going all the way down, uh, some additional lands and stuff that that I don't have that would really round things out to really optimize this deck list. But for now, I'm going to jump in. We're going to play a couple of games on ladder for you, and I hope that you enjoy. So we'll see what we get paired up with, and let's give it a go. Triple Fabled Passage. Uh, I mean, this is not a good opening hand, um, but we will we will keep it in lieu of uh, otherwise having a mulligan. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the planes right off the bat here. Good thing is we're gonna be able to thin our deck quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot of gas that we can draw. Don't really have one drops. Okay, and already, already we're improving, so we will grab a blue. And unfortunately, our opponent is playing something that is not really going to be very forgiving of a slow draw. Uh, however, we have our four mana to get our elite guard mage down, and we're going to be drawing, you know, extra cards from that point. There's another real nice pull for us. Probably go ahead and do that now that incubation. We have two Wynotas, so we'll see what we can find here. Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, so that's fine. Um, they could sacrifice it in response with Witch's Oven, so we're not going to worry about that. their own Fable Passage, and suddenly this is looking a lot better. Um, nothing too crazy coming from our opponent here. It's a second Witch's Oven. We are going to use 
use our Bone Crusher Giant when they swing at us. Stomp, rather. So, we'll force that. And get a draw with nothing on the table, which is terrific. Go ahead and grab another blue, get this elite guard mage down, uh, draw a card, gain some life back, and uh, be in good shape. Be scrying next turn. Get that second red down, which we do have for Chandra. And we're two turns away from kind of comboing out with our Winota. Okay, so I think we're going to go for our white and red here. And actually that is the play. We're going to get we're going to get Chandra out right now. We'll go ahead and pay the life to do it immediately. And we are going to add counters to her just to kind of ensure her survival and no attacks as well so we'll be all set up for Winota next turn this deck does have 26 lands in it so if the game does stretch out you know into the point where we're reaching turn six turn seven uh, we we are often able to cast agent and treachery on turn seven but uh, that's not really optimal Just fine. Blocking this Woe Strider, so we have no real attachment to our elite guard mage. That's going to be him doing his job. We'll take the one, no problem. And now the fun begins. Now we get to see what this deck can do for the first time. Um, and our opponent's kind of tapped out, so that's terrific. Let's. Scry first. To fairy, I do like that, but at this point, we're really looking for a land. Um, so here's a Winota. Honestly, if we hit Agent of Treachery, you know, we might be taking that mountain from them. They're already in real bad shape. Alright, so here are our two non-human elementals that are going to trigger Winota. Here are our triggers, and it gets pretty spicy. Alright, so we got Kenrith. Kenrith is attacking. We can give Kenrith trample. And we get Agent of Treachery, so I'm just going to go ahead and take their blocker. In this case, we'll keep our, our non-humans. Alright, so they're going to probably kill one of them. That's fine. They sacrifice it. No big deal. They target me. Whoops. And again, we probably should have taken their land, but no big deal. Get some serious beats in. A free agent of treachery. And that haste from Kenrith is brutal with our raise the alarm. So, we have that coming next turn, uh, as well as Agent of Treachery 
from our hand if we draw a land, our opponent. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with three lands over there. So, glorious victory. Uh, we were able to showcase a little bit of what Winota can do, including hitting that agent treachery on the trigger there. So, very pleased with that game. And let's go right into another one. Quickly finding our opponent. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a standard hand. We don't have, uh, you know, an, an excellent three drop, maybe like we would like something to get out there or even, even raise the alarm before Winota. But uh, we do have an extra Winota, uh, which we can ship away to Fire Prophecy. Darn, we don't have Untap Red. That is tough. Uh, makes me want to just throw Charming Prince down. And I think that that's what we're going to do. So as much as I basically always like to use him for that third ability. Uh, we'll see if they have counter magic now. And even if they do, we still have a Charming Prince that can block and kill their creature, so we're going to hold them off. So we're absolutely getting red. expect them to have, potentially have more counter magic here, but they do only have four cards in their hand. Um, I th think that I'm willing to have a Wynota countered if they have it, since we have another one. So let's try and fire that out, just see what happens. Yep, that's what I expected, so they do have it. unfortunate that they had a second cutthroat, but we'll be able to deal with it. Go ahead and just take that five. Try and land Legion War Boss. Quench is no good here. Nice. Go ahead and play dirty and get in there with Charming Prince as well. Take our five, no problem. And let's just see if they got something better than Quench, because they're going to have to. They do. I don't know why it moved me directly to combat. I had... Oh, I didn't have mana for those things. Okay. Uh, that is why. <coughs> so, now we got two of our four Wynotas in the graveyard. In a little bit worse shape. able to throw a token out in front. Not terribly concerned there. Uh, 
So, not great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw our attacker at him. If they try and do anything, we're gonna hit him with this fire prophecy. And we're probably gonna be casting Raise the Alarm to be blocking that 6 5. Maybe we can even Yeah, it's worth uh worth going for the the kill here on this cutthroat. We'll see. Make him counter that. Counter stuff on your turn, jerk. Alright, so that's just fine. We can just throw one in front there, no big deal. Feel like we kind of have oh and of course we don't have a second red ouch okay we're gonna scry too unfortunately that's uh, just what we have to do assuming they let that through with their infinite supply of counter magic that agent of treachery we basically have him run out of counter magic so I suppose we'll just go ahead and keep it as is through for a point. Third cutthroat, you got it. So now we don't know what we're going to draw. That uh, is a little bit tough, but still... Not so bad. Okay, and we are going to try and kill Mr. Four Power. We can actually draw a Wynota. Get back into it here. So, go down to four. Not so much. Put that to the bottom. That is our seventh land. They are allowing us to play the very slow game, so we can draw an Agent of Treachery or something crazy here. rough, but they've got it. Not the end of the world. Oh, 
so kind of a dreaded stall at this point. Unfortunately, I feel like they have forced the, the block out of Legion War Boss there, uh, which means we're really in trouble, <laughs> of course, a second Legion War Boss. Uh, which will go ahead and get down now. We're obviously forced to block with that, and you know, have very few outs for this game. Getting milled here. We have 27 cards left in our deck. Forced block here. Our opponent probably has some kind of counter magic in their hand. So they have five untapped. We are going to find out right now, that's for sure. Nice, nice, nice. Why don't we go ahead and bounce that monster back to your hand. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. Do we have any good incense or sorceries? Fire Prophecy. Hey, these little guys are great. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure that that was optimal. Yeah, that's okay though. I'll go ahead and hold our lanes here. Oh, surprised they didn't cast their cutthroat into turn there. I feel like that was probably an error on their part. Guard mage is a good pull for us. Go ahead and drop it and see what we're able to draw. Why Noda, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Here is our land, and this is... We've been down this whole game, and if they don't counter our Winota here, we are going to really, really go off. And as I kind of expected, they're apparently out of counter magic. And look at the kind of things that this deck can pull off. Here we go. They're just going to scoop. They're not even going to find out exactly what we can, you know, what we can look at on top of our deck there. Um, and that's pretty terrific. So, like I said, we had to fight and fight and fight, but we made it. And we'll probably go one more here for the, the sake of the video. Hopefully we can get a good third game in. Uh, make it three in a row. So, Jimmy Setzer, here we go. Can't just have the, <laughs> the right land to start, so no blue. Uh, is our is our problem here. However, we do have some scrying action for some card selection. Let's see what we can find. That can go right to the bottom. Effectively save ourselves a turn in that search for blue. Uh, should hopefully be able to have Wynota on turn four. We'll see if we can draw like a Legion War boss. Um, in this case, I'm going to make the, uh, the choice to go ahead and scry here, make sure that we get what we need, and wow, uh, we're going to search for blue. I'll go ahead and put both those on the bottom. Get our attack in, so we haven't missed a land drop. Uh, that Teferi is actually a good draw. We just have four blue cards in our hand, and don't hate having Bone Crusher Giant, but we're going to miss a land drop now, so that's rough. We have 26 land in our deck, so 
pretty unlikely uh, that we would miss a land drop, you know, drawing so many non-lands, and here's Fires of Invention, so that is no good. Uh, we do have Bone Crusher Giants uh, Stomp here. Feel like yeah, we will go ahead and hold that in case we're stuck attacking, which is what we're gonna do. Nice of them to block like that. Um, it's really fire prophecy that we should probably be using. Get Bone Crusher Giant ready for us to cast it. So there we go. We'll use, we'll uh, employ maximum efficiency. Two damage, two damage equals four. Take a look at our opponent's uh, companion. Karuga. And that is a big one. This is not going to be a, a very good example of a game here, as we are going to get crushed. Yeah, I mean, that's that's basically conceded at this point. I don't know what we're going to draw that's going to get us out of it. Not that, so we'll go ahead and pack him up for this one. Happy Undead is our opponent. And would you look at that, we have all three of our chosen colors of mana. So we'll go ahead and keep. And at this point we're going to be planning on casting Fibblethip on turn two. So that means Temple of Epiphany first, so we can scry. that elite guard mage but I th think that we're gonna look for since we already have a four drop we're gonna be looking for Legion war boss or hanged executioner there is Fibblethip and we've got charming prince too like um, but we're gonna put that on the bottom now almost just looking for a land that comes into play untapped we'll go ahead and swing for the one and do a little bit of trickery with charming prince remove fibble thip and bring it back So they have an 80 card deck um, alright so we did not get our land that comes into play untapped which is real unfortunate but we do have Chandra so next turn we are going to be just ruining just ruining this board yeah I there's a very good chance that our opponent will concede next turn Unless they're really able to put something out that stops us here. It really takes away our, our board position. Yeah, drawing a card, gaining some life is not good enough. And I like this card, but again, 
not enough right now. So here is our Winota. Here are our extra creatures, and here are three different triggers. We'll go ahead and bounce Fibble Thips. We'll get that card draw going. Get a lead guard mage down, so draw a card and gain some life, and a second lead guard mage, so tons of advantage, tons of card advantage, tons of life advantage, and really putting the pressure on our opponents at this point. Uh, I'm just going to hold that incubation. Kind of thought about using it for a. Uh, using it for like a Legion War Boss or a Hanged Executioner, but at this point we will use it to replace our Winota if they are able to do something about that. But our opponents at 10, they really need to clear the board. Yeah, and they did, so that's okay. We, we got our Legion War Boss, so that's okay too. Uh, but we'll actually be able to search for another Winota and, and cast it if we find it. Um, you know, for the card we draw here, plus the next five. Narset. If you wish to surrender now, meditate and prepare. Okay. Uh, so... That is what we're going to do. Is see if we can find a Winota. We found a Winota, so we'll go ahead and cast that, and the shenanigans will continue. Don't worry, I brought company. And that planeswalker's gotta die. Just gonna take their Narset is fine. Really like Kenrith. Nice, I thought that that would make that not legal for my creatures to deal damage to my thing. Um, Alright, so get our extra land here. I guess we're gonna want. Have, we have Kenrith, so we'll go ahead and grab the green. Um, and, sure, go ahead and activate Narsa real quick. And they're going to scoop, so that's uh, that's a little bit more like it. I'm glad that that played out real well, but we are able to manage our Winota situation even through a board clear there and get it done, so that is beautiful. All right, and uh, with that, I do hope that you guys have enjoyed taking a look at this deck. I have been having a lot of fun playing it. It is not quite complete yet, but looking at it uh, in its current state, you can see that it has played pretty well for us. So, uh, once again, I am Super Villain Gaming. I want to thank you guys for watching so much. Do remember to subscribe right here on YouTube and follow me on Twitch uh, for you know more MTG Arena content. I also stream. Marvel Strike Force very regularly. So uh, with that said, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.